Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the Lesson 15 Practice live stream. Today, we are going to be practicing the volitional form, resolutions with the volitional form, doing things in preparation with the te oku conjugation, and modifying nouns with sentences. But before we get into that, I just wanted to quickly go over ways you can help out Toki Andy if you feel like supporting the channel. First, we have a Patreon where you can get things like textbook practice videos, listening and shadowing videos, vocabulary videos, and tests for all of the lessons in Genki 1 and eventually in Genki 2 as well. We've also got a merch store, which is pretty new, and we've got things like Ando-san faces, Tokini Kazoku, t-shirts and sweatshirts, and Obanana stuff. There's also other things you can check out on tokiniandy.com, but enough of all that. Let's go ahead and say hello to everyone who is here tonight. Thank oh my god! Here for some Genki bananas. Enjoy, Yuki. Yuki, you got something to read already. Thank you so much! Arigato gozaimasu, Info Abroad! Check out Lucian's channel at Info Abroad. Arigato gozaimasu! Here for some Genki bananas. Enjoy, Yuki! Thank you! Yay! Arigato, Alright, thank you very much. So, welcome to the stream, Lena and Kyushu Trail and Info Abroad and Carpe Diem and Yuki and Wana, Wana Knit. And anyone else? We've got Karen Allen. Thank you for stopping by. Kamide, ka, kamidueru, kamidueruka. Ah, kamidueruka. And come to Japan Dan. Check out his channel as well. He is my trusty moderator here. Thank you so much, guys, for stopping by. And Marja, welcome to the stream. So, tonight we are going to be practicing these things you see on screen right now. The volitional form resolutions with the volitional form. Doing things in preparation with teoku and modifying nouns with sentences in Japanese. So we're going to get started in that in a few minutes. But yeah, how's everyone doing tonight? It's been a crazy week, crazy month for Yuki, as you saw in chat. She's worked for 30 days straight, and I convinced her to take her first day off tomorrow in a month. But um, good news is she's quitting that job in three days. At least that's the plan, in three days. And then we're moving right down the road to a house I used to live in, so that should be fun. <laughs> Way too much work to do to get that move going, as well as many, many videos to finish before that happens, but that's okay. Saeed Harb, hello! Good 4 a.m. here, oh my god! You're up early, or are you up late? <laughs> Thank you for stopping by, Karen, despite the early hour. Ohayo minna-san says Mateas. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you for stopping by. So... <clears throat> um... <laughs> Agreed, come to Japan. Up early. Woo! Good for you. I don't remember the last time I was up at 4 a.m. It's been a very long time. I don't plan on doing it again anytime soon, either. There is no merch hoodie. There's no merch hoodie. What are you talking about? There should be a ton of merch hoodies. T. Oh, you mean the one, like, I'm not wearing one right now. Is that what you mean? Yeah, I'm wearing a nice shirt tonight. I, uh, it's not that cold. It's actually quite quite warm here tonight so no hoodie uh hope the move goes well thank you thank you it's gonna be stressful mr raven thanks for stopping by best wishes with all of that bro i uh, appreciate it he is finally washing it haha <laughs> no that's right it's right here uh, uh see it's right there <laughs> i should be wearing one of the other shirts that i got from the merch stuff i've been wearing my uh my old banana tank top to the gym every day that's been fun well, and other ones, too. I don't wear the same one every single day. <laughs> I gotta have some, like, Tokini Andy polos or something. But anyway. I started with you recently, so I'm new here, and I'm still in Genki 1, but I wanted to be on a live with you. Well, thank you for stopping by. I hope you're finding the, uh, the old Genki streams useful. Um, and yeah, you're welcome to hang out as much as you want, even if you're not on Genki 2. Tonight we're going to be practicing Genki 2 material, but some people come that are way, way behind and still enjoy trying to make sentences and stuff from where we're at in the lesson, so you might find it useful. Get a P.O. Box ASAP, says Garbidium. Yeah, yes, I need to do that. I still I haven't even checked if it's possible here. I imagine it is at the main post office in town. Like a P.O. Box de wakaru. Nanka aru. Chuyo. Nayo ne. We're not even sure if they have P.O. boxes in Japan, like if that's a concept. I feel like I don't remember seeing any at the at the main post office here in town. 
A lot of people will, instead of P.O. boxes, will send things to local convenience stores and pick them up at convenience stores. That's actually probably what I should do. I should probably get the address to the local 7-Eleven or something and just pu put that up as like a P.O. box. That would probably be the best bet. Konnichiwa, Gatonbitu. Thank you for stopping by, California. No, thanks. Konnichiwa. Please go hit the like button. 24 watching, only 15 likes. Thank you, come to Japan Dan. Sensei, when to use kudasai and onegaishimasu, they are interchangeable. Um, te kudasai is only going to be kudasai. Um, well, no, you could say, ano, tabete kudasai, for example. You're not going to use onegaishimasu there, but if you're just saying please for something, you can use either one at any time. I'm the same on Genki One, but want to see a live stream. Well, thank you for stopping by. Um, this is not an actual, like, lesson live stream. This is just the practice one, but these are still fun, I think. They should have something. Yeah, yeah, I think I think the best bet is the convenience store thing, which I can do at any time. I'll just have to put that. They will get more packages in the shop itself. <laughs> I won't get that much. I don't think that many people want to send me mail. But, I mean, that's what, the, that's what their job is. That's actually what I'll do. Um, as soon as I move, I'll figure out which is the closest 7-Eleven, and then I'll just have stuff sent. I'll just put that address up on my uh, on my YouTube channel. All right, so everyone ready to get into this? The first thing we're covering is the volitional form. Well, we already covered it. It's basically just a godan conjugation, which means you move from the dictionary form down to the o form. So for aruku, it becomes aruko, and add u, aruko. And that's the volitional form. It means let's do something, or let's, well, yeah, that's it. It means let's do something, something. And then for ichidan verbs, iru eru verbs, you just drop the do and add yo. So, for example, miyo, right? That's it. That's volitional form. And we covered that last week. The irregular suru becomes shio, kuru becomes koyo. That's all you need to know. If you add ka at the end of the volitional form, it means shall we, nani nani. So, it's this, it's exactly the same as uh, shimasho ka. So, with the ka, right? And uh, nani nani shimasho. That's... That's also the polite volitional. So this is exactly the same. It's just the the um, the informal version of that. So we covered that last week. So let's go ahead and take a look at what the first question was from last week. I can have you guys answer that, and then we'll get on to the new question for the week. The que first question from last week was, you're coming to visit us, myself and Yuki, in Japan. So tell us something that you want to do together. So my example is, ramen wo tabeyo. Let's eat ramen together. So please make a sentence using the volitional form and inviting us, basically, to do something together. <clears throat> it's pretty dry. Oh, it's not that dry in here tonight. 46%. I did turn the heater on before stream because it was getting a little chilly, but that's not so bad. 24 Celsius, 46% dryness, but that does dry out my throat pretty much. If I don't have like 60%... Humidity in here when I'm streaming, my voice is gone immediately. So, for those of you who. Ega o mio! Excellent sentence, I am an. And welcome to the stream, good to see you here. Ega o mio! Perfect. So, for those of you who's, who are here for the first time at a practice stream, um, you can answer these questions using kanji, just hiragana. You could use romaji if that's all you've got. If you can't type in kanji or hiragana, you're welcome to use a romaji keyboard. Nothing wrong with that. I will do my best to read Romaji. It's quite difficult to read Romaji, but I'm pretty sure I can figure it out. So feel free to answer in any way you want. Come to Japan says, Fukuoka de ramen o tabeo yo. Zehi, zehi tabeo. All right. Osoku made ne yo. Tashikani, ii ne. So shio. Kirei na o tera ni iko, ii ne. Anime o miyo. Perfect sentence. Perfect sentence. All of them. Perfect. Excellent. Good job. Kirei na o tera ni iko. Ii desu ne. So I live in Nagano City. So we have actually a, an extremely famous temple here in Nagano City. Zenkoji. It's one of the more famous. Yeah, exactly. Zenkoji ni iko. That's it right there. We, uh, it's one of the most famous temples in Japan. And it's, it's, uh, if I walked there, it would take me 15 minutes. If I biked there, it would take about five, maybe 10. It's a little bit uphill. I guess walking, it would take more like 20. By car, it's less than five. So it's, it's like right, right over there. Um, if you get like a, to an area where there's not a lot of houses, you can see it. Akihabara ni, Akihabara de kaimono shio. Ii desu ne, Matthias. Wonderful, wonderful. All right. Good sentences. 
So I'm going to let you continue with those sentences, but since most of you have already actually, excuse me, answered this question, let's go ahead on to the new question for this section, which is similar, but it's a different question. So it's the weekend, and you want to do something with your friends. Suggest an activity. This doesn't have to be in Japan. It can be wherever you're at right now. So my suggestion is, ramen wo tabeo. That's what I want to do. I actually just went out for ramen yesterday. I got tsukemen. Yuki got na nani ta nani kattake? No. Mm. Tokumori. Tokumori zenbu nose. Tokumori zenbu nose. It was like a shoyu. Just like a normal ramen with a bunch of stuff on top of it. Probably soy sauce ramen with a just everything, all of the possible toppings on it. It was good. All right. So the answer to this will be similar, it's just a different situation. It might not necessarily be in Japan, depending on where you're at right now. Eiga... Hmm? Eiga no yoru. Ah, ah, naruhodo ne. Eiga no yoru ni shiyo. I think you want a ni there. So, eiga no yoru ni shiyo. Kana? Hmm, ii desu ne. Eiga no yoru ni shiyo. You, so that, so you got movie night. <laughs> Yuki said it sounds romantic. It doesn't sound romantic in English. Let's do it. Let's do a movie night. Just means like, let's all hang out and watch movies. Okay. So there's no like cool word to say it in Japanese. He, she said it sounds like a commercial. Um, but you can certainly try to use it. <laughs> that might be better. Vodka wo no no mo. Okay, in broad, very close. No mo ne no mo. So uh nomu is an ichidan verb, so you just cut the do. Huh? No I'm sorry, it's not an ichidan verb, no mo. So you have to move down to the o and uh do no mo u no mo. Right, that's it. So it's not an ichidan verb. I'm busy today, so just enjoying listening to the practice this time. No worries, Nikens. Thanks for stopping by and hanging out. We'll be here in the background. Hope uh, maybe you can pick something up. I was just talking to my friend. Uh, she dropped off the keys to the house we're moving into tonight. And um, I was telling her... I haven't been out to drink. Well, I went out once, but I only had like two beers. Three, I guess. But I haven't drank more than that in over a year. Like I haven't, it's kind of crazy to think about. I used to have to go out like every couple weeks to Nomikai's for work and stuff. And yeah, it's been over a year. I feel pretty good actually. Karaoke no yoru ni shiyo. Karaoke no yoru ni shiyo. Ii desu ne. Karaoke, karaoke ni go. That would be a good one. I haven't been to karaoke in a long time either. Yuki's been dying to go to karaoke, I think. Karaoke ni go. That's a good one. All right. Good job, guys. So I think most of you who are participating tonight have answered the question already, which means we're already done with section one. The next sections are a little bit more difficult, but not too much. So it might be a quick night tonight. Well, I'll be honest. The next section is resolutions using the volitional. And that's just basically taking the volitional form and saying to omotte imas, which is for a decision or a resolution, like a New Year's resolution, or just something you've decided you're going to do in the future. Um, you can use this volitional plus to omotte imas, and a decision you make on the spot, like when someone asks you a question and you decided to do something right then and there, like okay, I'm gonna do this thing, and I just decided that volitional plus to omoimas. So for example. Uh, I intend or decided to buy it, or I'm thinking to buy something, something. Just like that. Uh, so the question, the first question for tonight is, or it's actually from last week, is what is one thing you plan on doing in the new year? What is one thing you plan doing plan on doing in the new year? And uh, the thing I plan on doing is, mo. I plan on eating ramen. I've been thinking about it a lot, and I think I'm going to do it. 
I feel so shy when doing karaoke. Anyone else? I need to drink for karaoke. I love karaoke. I get nervous, but I get over it quick enough. Alcohol helps. Not in Japan. Liquid courage is almost always involved. Um, so I don't know if you guys have been to Japanese or I guess Asian, Asia styled karaoke. Um, I know back home in America, yeah, I'd be pretty nervous singing karaoke because, you know, it's in, it's in front of everyone in a bar. Half of them you don't know. And it's you get one song and yeah, that's it. But in Japan, you basically get your own room with just the people you came with. So it's just all of your friends in a room and you can order food and drinks if you want. And yes, usually liquid courage is involved. But not always. Like some people will go solo to these rooms and just hang out and sing karaoke for a couple hours because it's actually really cheap. It's very affordable to just hang out in a room and sing karaoke for a few hours if you have nothing better to do. Sometimes Yuki and I will just go, the two of us, and we'll get a room and we'll sing karaoke for like an hour or two to kill some time. So it's fun. Um, and with your when you're just with your friends, it's you don't really get that nervous. So I enjoy singing a lot. So if you, in case you didn't figure that out from my uh, Tay Form song. I have not been to Asia style karaoke. I want to so bad though. It's so much fun. I highly, highly recommend it. That's actually something I would, uh, I would definitely recommend doing if you ever come over here. I was just watching your lesson three video and saw you were live. Thanks for the videos. You're welcome, QV. I hope that you found the lesson three video helpful. Um, I don't know if you were watching the new version or the old version. Um, if you were watching the old version, which I think does a good enough job explaining it, maybe a better job explaining it, but the new video has a lot more examples. So if you still need some more review, that one might help you out. But thanks for stopping by. Uh, so think of it like in the English, um, if you were to say, I intend to go to the party or I'm planning on going to the party. So there's that word, right? Now think about the difference between that and I'm, I've been thinking about doing such and such. I've been thinking about doing such and such. Now, the difference is similar to that in Japanese, except when you say to omotte imasu, you, you decided you're going to do it. But it's like saying, I've been thinking about doing something, something like feeling someone out, even though you've already decided you're going to do it, but you're feeling someone out like, mm, I think I'm going to try this thing out, or I've been thinking about trying this thing out, um, just to feel them out. And in Japanese, it's not very a very direct language. So basically everything you're saying is always just sort of feeling people out like that, even though you've already decided you're going to do it. Uh, this is a way to soften that, to soften the fact that you're going to eat ramen and that you've been thinking about going to eat ramen for a long time. You just use to omotte mas. So I feel like to omotte mas is a little less... Uh, it sounds a little more indecisive, which in Japanese means it sounds a little bit more polite. Mm. People also use the karaoke as a last resort hotel. Yes, I've done that before. Harry Potter to home aron, home aron wo miyo to omotte imasu. I desu ne. Given how polite the Japanese are, do they tolerate a tone deaf poor singer doing karaoke? They absolutely do, and so do I. Plenty of friends who are tone deaf. I'm tone deaf half the time too, I imagine. Atarashi machi ni utsuro to omotte imasu. Ii desu ne. Atarashi machi doko de shou ka? Tanoshinde honto ni utsutara. You could also use hikoso, hikosu. You could also use that. Although your sentence is also perfectly understandable. So, very close. It's I'm going to type that out for you. If I can switch to Japanese. Otherwise, good. いいね。俺もしたい。イエルツの試験も合格しようと思っています。いいですね、カリフォルニアの頑張ってください。たくさん勉強しようと思っています。いいですね、いいね。頑張って。ああ、なるほど、セザヤマン。テニスをしようと思
That's one. That one takes a lot of practice. All right. I think that's a good amount of answers for that. So our new question for today is, airports and borders are open. You have 2,500 US dollars to spare. There are no strange diseases about. What's the plan? My plan is スペインに行こうと思っています. What's your plan? I'm going to drink some water while I wait for you to fantasize about what that situation might lead to for you. Is my mic a bit loud? I keep hitting the red. So I'll move back a little bit if it's a little bit too loud or just turn it down on the OBS. Maybe a little bit. I'll turn it down a little bit. All right, how's that? Right about there. Okay. Sweet. Nihon ni iko to omotte imasu. Ii desu ne, Karen. I hope you can, and I hope that this it becomes a real thing sooner than later. Cute dog, by the way. Nihon ni Ah, so you just decided now. That actually works as well. You can just say you just decided now. So that perfect that works perfectly well. You might not be thinking about it, you just decided right now, like Lina and Wananit. あの銀山温泉に行こうと思っています。いいね。俺も温泉行きたい。温泉本当に行きたい。I want to go to onsen so bad, but I don't have time recently. So let me just write out your sentence. I uh, want it really quick. 日本に1月に行こうと思います。There you go. ハワイに行こうと思ってます。いいですね。not iko, I meant to be in. Ah, to be in Japan. Naruhodo, ja, then your sentence is fine. Ichigatsu ni iyo to omote imas. That works actually. Okay, sorry about that. Sometimes a little bit hard without the kanji. Nihon de diren grey to suki suke kyo no konsato ni iko to omote imas. Iyesne, I've never actually listened to any of them, but I do like going to concerts. They're quite fun. I hope you can. Holy crap. Big noises outside. If this were to really happen, what would actually happen is Tabun America ni ikai kairo kana ikai kairo to omoimas. I'd probably go home for a week or two to visit. Ah no. Family. For a couple of reasons. Hopefully I can get there soon. <clears throat> All right, good answers, guys. So you can ignore my uh, response there. I'll give you guys about 30 more seconds to add some answers to this pile, and we'll move on to the next section. We're flying through them tonight. There's only four sections to this lesson, so it's not going to be a long one, unfortunately. Also, I, I mentioned a few times how crazy last week was. I was only able to make one extra question. I mean, that's usually all I do make for the uh, the practice streams. I just make one extra question for each section. But I was hoping to make a few more for this lesson, but it just it didn't happen. Sorry about that. All right, so let's go ahead and move on to doing things in preparation with teoku. All it is is a te form plus oku, and oku is conjugated in... Ooh, what the heck is up with my mouse? Okay, there we go. It's it's conjugated just like the verb oku to place. So, shite oku, shite okimasu, shite oko, shite okimasho, shite oita, shite okimashita. And in conversation, it's often changed to shitoku, shitoita, shitoite, shitoko, toka, stuff like that. Like, so in conversation, right? You're not going to see that in books or anything, unless it's dialogue. You might see it in manga and stuff like that. Actually, you probably will see it a lot in manga. Uh, you'll hear Naname a lot, but in conversation, it's quite, quite frequent. Ian, oyasuminasai, gambatte kudasai. Have a good night. 
Thanks for coming in special like on your way out. coming to Japan, Dan. Thank you. Anyway, man, I need to run some business and I will be gone. I will catch up to you a little bit later, guys. Hit that like button for our Genki Master and Queen. Thank you, Info Abroad, and thank you for the bananas. Appreciate it very much. Thank you so much. Have a good day. Stay safe out there. All right. So our first question from last week was, you're going to Japan soon. We've already, most of you just said you're going to Japan. What is one thing you will do in preparation? So to prepare to leave for Japan, something that you need to do in preparation. For example, chiketto wo katte oku. I'm going to buy a ticket in preparation to go. So chiketto wo katte oku. So usually when you're 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 planning to do something, uh, <clears throat> and you're talking about things you're going to do to prepare for that event coming up, whether it's yeah, you're going to use teoku. So you're going to use a lot because you're always planning to do something. So when you're talking about those things, you refer to the things you do in preparation for them with teoku. So for preparing for your trip to Japan. Chiketto katteoku. So what's something else you will do in preparation for your trip? Konbanwa, shokuji shita tokoro desu. Michael-san, konbanwa, good to see ya. I hope you had a good dinner or whatever it was you were eating. Hoteru no yoyaku wo shite okimasu. Perfect sentence, Wananet. Excellent. Oyasumi nasai, Ian says Yuki chick. Yuki a chick. I still read that as Yuki chick half the time. Yuki chick. <laughs> Hotel. Jibun no janai. Jibun no hotel no yoyaku desu yo. Watashitashi no janai ya. Yuki saying how how kind of it is of you to make Reservations for the hotel. She thought you were making reservations for us at a hotel. It's like, no, 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 no. No, but not us. For some, I Ah, for someone else. I see, I see. I think for for themselves. <laughs> I think so. All right. Nihongo wo naratte okimasu. Subarashii. Pitovnikov is kedo. But do you need to explain what you are preparing for? No, not at all. Uh, what you're preparing for in this situation is going to Japan soon. So you're going to Japan soon. What is the one thing you will do in preparation? So in a situation where you'd actually be, you'd be using this, it would already be basically um, contextually understood what the thing is that is what the thing is that you're preparing for. Um, if you don't mention the thing if it hasn't come up in conversation yet and you use teoku on its own that will just be implying that you're you're buying it in preparation for some unspecified event in the future and we do use it that way a lot i gave the example last week of how i'll say it if i'm at the store and i'm just like ah you know what i'm gonna go ahead and buy some curry just in case basically it's like that like if you leave the event unspecified it's like just in case almost so uh just kare katoku I'm gonna buy curry, just in case. So you can think of it like that, actually. I wish I would have come up with that last week in time for the uh, the stream cut. But yeah, if you if you use this without specifying an event, an event, it's like just in case. But the the specified event here is that you're going to Japan soon. Kaban mo katte oku ii desu ne. Atakai fuku ga nai no de. Atakai fuku wo katte okimasu. Good sentence, Matthias. Excellent. Passporto wo, ano, nandake, shutoku, 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 shite okimasu. Ii desu ne. Perfect. Genki wo, benkyo shite oku. Ii desu ne, Elina. Ganbatte kudasai. Hey all, Jasmine for the win. Good to see ya. Oh, pfft, I'm half an hour late. Hope I haven't missed too, too much. You've missed the first two sections, but it wasn't too bad. You can always jump back and see what those practice sections were. Uh, two of them were from last week, and two of them were new ones. So you didn't miss too much. But thanks for stopping by. Good to see you, Bar Bara. Blakey. Bara Blakey. I've got it. I finally got it. Yes. En mo katteoku. That's a good idea. That's a very good idea. 
If you guys ever come to, I don't know how it is now. It depends on your bank. So when I first came to Japan, now that that works too, and and works. That's probably, excuse me, makes more sense than saying o kane o katte oku. Saying en mo katte oku is it's a much better sentence. Perfect. So when I first moved to Japan, it was much cheaper for me to buy yen at my bank than it was to withdraw. Because Japan didn't have very, uh, they charged a lot of ATMs when you withdrew foreign currency, unlike Europe, which was basically free wherever you went with an excellent, excellent exchange rate. That's no longer the case in Japan. If you go to 7-Eleven and your bank, your bank doesn't charge heavy fees. You can withdraw money from most currencies if you have like a Visa debit card uh, for free with a very good exchange rate from 7-Eleven. So there's a tip for you. You don't need to buy a whole lot, at least from USD and from New Zealand dollars. I didn't have to. I didn't have to pay anything in fees, and my bank doesn't charge foreign exchange fees, so I actually use my American credit card for everything I buy online, even if it's in Japanese yen. Nihon no onna to kekkon shite oku tsumori desu. Ah, iyi desu ne. Oku tsumori desu ne. 日本の女と日本人の女の子 would probably be a little bit more polite. Or 日本の女と結婚する it sounds a little bit it sounds very rough. <laughs> Yuki said it sounds like you're talking about a part in my language Hold your ears, fingers in your ears. Sounds like you're saying, my bitch. I'm going to get my bitch and marry her. So be careful with using just onna on its own. So, Nihon no jose to kekkon shite oku tsumori desu. Or Nihonji no onna no ko would also be okay. Ah, dang it. So close. Ah, no. Alright. Uh, uh, this is from the previous section, I, I imagine. You're talking about from omoteimasu from before, right? Alright. Nice. Oof, go man. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. It was funny. Um, you'd be forgiven for saying it. Like, everyone would know that's not what you meant because. You're not Japanese, so it's an easy enough mistake to make. But, you know, I figure I should let you know. All right, our next question is, you're making dinner tonight. You're at the grocery store. What are you going to buy? So this is another one of those situations where, you know, you're going to buy something in preparation for dinner later. It's an event as simple as that. Which point, which is just sort of pointing out, like, this is a really, really, really common conjugation literally use it all the time. Uh, so please start with the thing you are going to make, in my case, steaky wo tsukuru. And then what you're gonna buy in preparation for that. So, niku wo katte oku. I guess I could have just said steaky wo katte okimasu or something like that. But anyway, tell me what you're going to make for dinner and what you're going to buy in preparation for it. Shut up, fans! Jeez. Oh, whatever. Nothing I can do about it. <sighs> tomorrow is a national holiday, guys. It's exciting. Don't have work tomorrow. But I have lots and lots of work to do on actually my first ever sponsored video. I'm going to have a sponsored video for the first time. And um, I've had a lot of offers for sponsored videos, like, actually, like quite a few, actually. I've probably gotten... I've probably gotten six or seven different companies asking me to asking to sponsor a video and I've turned them all down or just ignored them because I don't use the product or I think the product is sub optimal or whatever. But anyway, uh, I finally got an offer from a company that I really, really, really like. So um, they're sponsoring a video that's going to be coming out, I believe, Friday night in Japan time. So I'm excited about that, but it's a lot. It's stressful. 
it's stressful doing a sponsored video. On top of the three Patreon videos that I need to finish in time for next Saturday. And moving. So anyway, I'll be spending my national holiday doing that. That should be fun. Kusa wo taberu. Romanesco. Romanesco wo chin shite oku. Yes, ine. Ninjin wo tsukuru. You're gonna make carrots. Nice. Ninjin wo katte oku. Ine. Love it. Thank you, Dan. Ano, ningen no teashi. Teashi. Hm? Shusoku? Hm? Teashi da ne. Teashi o katte okimas. Hm? Nani? I forgot how to switch it to o oite. Katte oite. Hm? Why are you buying human. F human hands and feet? <laughs> that's, that's scary. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations, you deserve it. Is that something you can buy down there? I don't think so. <clears throat> yasai age o age o hm? Ah, yasai age wo tsukuru. Yasai yasai wo katte oku. Iii desu ne. Perfect. Mm, congrats. I think that your videos are really good compared with others. Thank you very much, Karen. I appreciate it. I hope that this video that I'm actually making is is helpful as well. Um, the sponsored one. Um, I'm hoping to make it as useful as possible. I do my best. Sakana to yasai wo tsukuru ne? Tsukuru kara ano saba dakke? Kore saba? Shake ka? Sake ka? Sake to yasai wo katte okimasu. Ii desu ne? Sakana to yasai wo tsukuru kara sake to yasai wo katte okimasu. I'm really bad at fish kanji. Omedetou gozaimasu, says Ben Kong. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Lasagna. Lasagna, oh, いいね。を作る。チーズを買っておく。ナイス。いいですね。I want some lasagna. Send me some. <laughs> フライナット。Oh, really? あ、フライフー豆腐ね。I always mix up 納豆 and 豆腐。うん。フライド、あ、we we call it 揚げ豆腐を作る。豆腐と、なにこれ。醤油。Is that the kanji for show you? Wow. Well, cut the okimas. That doesn't even show up. Like, whatever's on top of it isn't even on my screen. Ponzu da yo ne. So, I'll give you a tip there. The, the best thing for age dofu is ponzu. Better than show you. Better than、uh, soy sauce is ponzu. If you like vinegar. It's, it's vinegar and soy sauce mix, I guess. Sort of. It's vinegary. うん、<laughs> you, could, you could buy some frozen dinners. Fried chicken will be made. Tori Niku will be made. Hi, how are you doing? Thanks for stopping by. I was talking about the informal teoku in conversation. Ah, toku.、ね uh, let's see if I can get up to that slide. There you go. Basically, you change the te. You combine the te and o into to. And then whatever comes after that stays the same. So, shite oku becomes shitoku. Shite oita becomes shitoita. Shite oite becomes shitoite. Shite oko becomes shitoko. I love the way that sounds. I love shitoku. Seriously, I use it all the time. All right, guys, those are some great sentences.、Uh, we got a few more, it looks like. Wait, is it yasai age or age yasai?、Hmm? Age yasai ka na? Hmm. I don't think so. Just, just fried, like, like fried in a pan. A yasai tame? Are you, so, are you talking about like、uh, fried in like batter or are you just talking about straight up fried vegetables? Yasai tame da ne? If you're just talking about straight up fried vegetables, Then you would say, Yasai itame. Yasai itame. Right, right. Age is like deep fried. You could just point it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so Yasai itame. So yeah, Age is like deep fried. So if you're talking about fried tofu too, it's gonna be, it's gonna be like, a, it'll become brown on the outside because it's like, it's deep fried. It's deep fried. Age is deep fried. So like, um, mm. Age manju, for example. This is delicious. I'll show you that. Let's bring up the,、uh, the browser. 
so uh, 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 there it is Agemanju. these things are delicious if they're fresh ah here you go take a look at that oh you can't even see it can you bring it over here <clears throat> I'm a big fan of these めっちゃ美味しいでしょ。天ぷらまんじゅう。天ぷらまんじゅう。I so. know. They're basically they're they're special to where Yuki's from, actually. I'm a big fan of these. でもたまにはここにはなんかあのお花見花見の時とかも作ってる。Sometimes during a sakura season, so cherry blossom season, they um they make these around here as well. But they're they're local they're a local food for where Yuki's from, which is about two or two or three hours south of here. So yeah. I'm a fan of those. <coughs> Tempura mitai ne? Mm, ski da yo. Nankai mo yu tin da gedo. Ski te. Mm. I've had the deep fried mochi with ice cream in it at a Japanese restaurant. It's so good. Looks very similar. Mm, that's good. That's good too. It's similar, yeah. Oishi so. Sorry if I made you guys a little bit hungry with this question. <laughs> Alright guys, so that actually brings us to the uh, the last section already. So can yasai itame work for a stir fry? Yeah, that's basically what it is. Uh, yasai itame is basically a stir fry. No, 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 that's perfect. That's what you want. That's what you'd be going for. Ah, what is up my tokini kazoku? Walter Ditto, isashibari, genki desu ka? How's it going? I was gonna say to Carpe, uh, to Carpe Diem earlier, I like the look of the yellow uh, logo next to the green name. It looks really good. How you doing, Walter Ditto? We're on to our last section already. It's a, it's a quick night tonight, uh, which was modifying nouns with sentences. Basically, you can end... You can take a sentence. If you end it in an informal conjugation of a verb, any informal conjugation of a verb, and then put a noun after it, that noun is modified by, by the entire sentence that came before it. So... Even if it's just a single verb, like taberu keiki, cake you eat, taberta keiki, cake I ate, tabenai keiki, cake you don't eat, taberaderu keiki, cake you can eat, taberarenai keiki, cake you cannot eat, taberarenakatta keiki, cake I was not able to eat, for example, right? So I brought up this picture last time, and that was the first thing. It was very, very difficult for most people to come up with a a noun modified by a full sentence looking at this picture but someone asked me i believe it might have been michael said it was difficult but wanted to try again so i've left this picture up and then i have another i have some translation exercises after this with the answers so first i want you to try and make a sentence using anything from this picture so for example uh, I might take... Hidari ni aru kop. The cup that is on the right, or on the left. Hidari ni aru kop. Is one sentence you could come up with. Anything. It's perfectly fine. I'll give you, I'll give you a couple minutes, because I know it's going to take a while to figure something out. And I'll just ramble on in the background about something random. Or I'll be quiet, so you can think. Either way, uh, yeah, good luck. The next, the next problem here, it'll take a little bit longer, but it'll also be significantly easier, I feel like. Ano kusa wa midori desu. Yes, ano kusa wa midori desu. That is, that is correct. The, uh, the grass is green. Perfect. So, but what I want you to do is I want you to modify, so let me throw down a list of possible nouns. So let's go ahead and write the list, of, let's do it here. Oops, don't look at that. So let's pull this up to here and then I'll make a text box. And then I'll give you a list of different nouns you could use. So we could have inu. I'll just leave the hiragana so you can actually, everyone can read it. We'll go bold, a little bit bigger. Uh, white text, boom, 18, height, we've got inu, that's one of the nouns you can modify, we've got koppu, that's one of the nouns you can modify, we've got onna no 
Ko. Probably can read that one. Uh, Tori birds. We've got. Let's uh, go ahead and pull this down. We'll do one more down here. Uh, what else do we have in the picture? Ano, sono ramp wa nanti yun daro nihongo dato. Kikyu? Sono ramp no hashira. これ、伝統だね。伝統。はい。伝統。伝統 is the, the name of like a lamp post. 伝統。Thank you. I completely forgot about that one.、Uh, we'll do a couple more. So, those are some of the nouns you could modify. We've got umbrella. So, kasa.、Uh, baroon. Baroon. これ、気球。気球。Uh, hot air balloon. 気球。Oh, Kikyu. Kikyu is the name of a hot air balloon. And that should. Oh, oh there's also. Kikyu.、Uh, and what's fountain pen again? Fountain pen. Pen. Fountain pen. Ah! So that. Mannen pizza じゃない Hitsu. Mannen hitsu. Mannen Hitsu is fountain pen. Sugoi Pitovnaka, Mannen Hitsu. Sugoi. All right. Fountain pen. So, so Mannen Hitsu. Because it's, it's got a fountain of ink that comes out of it. That's how it's used. It's by... I imagine that's why. The ink is inside of it and it fountains out onto the tip of the pen. There's a verb to fountain. It means to, to come out of a hole and. Like a fountain. Shoots up. It's coming out of a hole. It's fountaining out. I think it fountains out of the top and down the pen. I imagine that's why it's called that. I don't really know. I remembered it because I didn't even know what fountain pen was. <laughs> I haven't, like. the la I recently heard fountain pen at my work because a kid had it at school and we were going over.、Um, Classroom supplies and he had a fountain pen. And I was like, holy crap, I haven't seen one of these in a long time. So I completely forgot what the word was in Japanese as well. And they told me, ano, mannen hitsu, hitsu. So that was literally the only time I think I've heard it in eight years. So I'm surprised you guys knew it. Good job. So anyway, I want you to take full sentences and modify these nouns. That's what I want you to do here. That might make it a little bit easier. All right, so let's go ahead and jump back. Onna no hito wo motte iru kasa. Wa, akai desu. Good, that's a good sentence. But, onna no hito wo motte iru kasa. Oh, yeah, perfect, perfect. So you've modified kasa. That's great.、Uh, wa needs to be the、uh, H A. So that's the actual wa particle. But otherwise, good. Onna no hito ga. Ah, so da ne. She isn't being carried. So, onna no hito ga motte iru kasa. Wa, ga, wa. A akai, wa akai, hai. Onna no hito or onna no ko ga motte iru kasa ga wa akai des. That's what you want there. Good. Ano tonde iru tori wa sora de ugoite imas. Sora de. Mkai te ru? Sora de. A ore nani yutta ke? A sore de. Sora de. Excellent. Wait, can I see the examples again in previous slides? Ah,、uh, yes. So, for example,、uh, simple examples would be taberu keiki. More complicated examples would be kino tsukutto ita kare. So, kare is being modified by kino tsukutto ita. So, curry I made yesterday. Ano,、uh, another example is、uh, karita hon. So, book I borrowed. In、uh, the dialogue, we had.、Mm, shika nai ie. Shika nai ie. Uh, a house with nothing but a single floor. Are some examples. So these are the nouns you can modify, and you can modify them with full sentences or just verbs.、Um, dun 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 dun. Tonda tori no mure wa. Inu no ue ni imas. Almost perfect, Pitavnikov. You need a ni there instead of ga. Ni imas. 
Uh, I remember, da, 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 I've got one my grandma used in primary school many, many years ago. Wow, that's cool. That's really cool. Akai kasa wo motteiru onna no ko wo ga aruiteimasu. Aruiteimasu. So you could, you could use wa or ga there in, in place of o. So you don't use o with aruku. Well, I guess you could. Depends on where they're walking. But in this case, you can't. So it would be wa or ga. Ohayou. I don't think I've ever used one, actually, bara. bara. Maybe I did once, and I, I, I think I, I feel like I ripped the paper I was writing on immediately. Ohayou gozaimasu, Radclaw. Good to see you, man. How's it going? Mannen hitsu no ue. Iro iro. Iro iro. Kikyu. Ah. Iro iro na iro na. Ah, okay. I get what you're going for there with there, Matthias. It's close. That's that's actually really fun. That's fun. Iro iro na. Iro iro na iro. Ga aru. Iro iro na iro na. Kikyu. Iro iro na. Ah, iro na iro no. No, na, no, no, kikyu, no. So that's it. Iron, iron, na. Iron, na. Iron, na. Iron, no, kikyu. That's kind of. Man, ne. But I think he wanted to play with iro, the the funniness of the sound of iro, na iro. It is it is rainbow color is another thing you could use Yuki was pointing out. Nijiro. Nijiro. But I do I do like how uh, the iron na iro no kikyu sounds. It sounds pretty cool. <clears throat> uh, Yuki's gonna make something difficult, she said. Hikari ga nakute onna ano joshi kara takai. Denchu, dento. Hikari ga nakute, onna, ano, jo, hm? Onna no ko, joshi, kara, toi, dento. Hm, that works. But, the only issue is you ended up, you ended up in the end modifying it did work it was a full sentence but the in the end it was modified by a an adjective which is fine that is actually it's a fine you can modify with adjectives but for this this lesson in particular we were modifying things with verbs but you can actually modify with adjectives and full sentences just like that as well mm. oh no adverb adverb no, adjective, adjective. Uh, so, Dakedo, Kono, 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 lesson, ma, adjective, Janak, ano, chaos, Janak, de, doshi, de, ano, kairu. Te koto, ti, te rin desu yo. So, so, so. But I mean, it's a good sense. It just wasn't modifying it with the verb. That's all I was pointing out. But it's still a good sense. I still use a fountain pen. Calligraphers, calligraphers use them. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure. I love the way that. Uh, calligraphy looks of the fountain pen, but I just can't do it. Yeah, I got my hands absolutely covered in ink the first time, I imagine. Ano inu ga aruiteimasu. So that, that sentence works, it describes the picture, um, but it, the, the dog has not been modified by a verb there, that's the only thing. I sold the fountain pen once, swore to never touch one again. <clears throat> I think what you want to say there is nurete iru kasa nurete nurete iru te nurete iru nja nakute nurete iru hai nurete iru kasa is what you want to say there nurete iru so nurete iru means to be wet it, it is wet usually use the te iru form of that to mean that something is wet nurete iru kasa ugoki so na mizu tamari tashikan a puddle that looks like it's going to move. Naruhodo. 
Subarashi. <laughs> Subarashi, yo. I remember in my primary school, the desks had holes to place the inkwells in to refill your fountain pens. I think in my school, we actually had holes for inkwells as well. We just didn't use them. But I, I believe that our desks were so old that we actually had those as well. I'm pretty sure. In uh, I was homeschooled until quite late, but my last year of elementary school, I think I started, I went back to school, or maybe it was middle school, and we had those desks. Calligraphy seems crazy hard. My normal handwriting is shaky as is. I'd mess up so hard. Probably, but with practice, your calligraphy would probably get significantly better than your your regular handwriting, I feel like. Mm. Did you go to school? Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, that was good. So let's go ahead and go on to the, the final section of this lesson, which is translating the following sentences. So I want you to translate these. There are correct answers that will be on the next page. There may be, there may be for example, different adverbs you could use or adjectives you could use for, um, well, ad, adverb in this case, that you could use for things like really and whatnot. But generally, there is a correct answer. So please go ahead and try to translate each one of these sentences as best as you can in the comments or in the live chat if you're here now or in the comments if you're watching on the replay and I will correct them. Sugoku futoi nu. Mm, good one. Hontou ni futotte iru. Ah. So, Petovnikov, close, but remember that to modify nouns with verbs, they need to be in the the uh informal form or the uh the basic form. What am I trying to say? Not informal form, the short form. So it needs to be honto ni futotte iru inu. Tottemo futoi inu. Alright, so we actually had a conversation about this in the Discord recently. Generally when you say that something uh in particular uh, a living thing is fat, you say futotte. Iru. Use the verb and the continuous form of it, futoteiru. So futoi means that something is thick or that a thing, like an inanimate object, is, is fat. What can I, what can I, do I have something I could give an example with? Like, um, like this book is futoi. It's a thick book. Uh, so it's more like thick, to be honest. But, but not in the way we use thick in English these days to talk about. Uh, living people. So we say futoteiru. Nice. I'm not going to give you the answer for this one until we get all of the, the sentences done. So you can just keep going down the line and translating all of the sentences or just pick one or two that you want to translate and try and translate those and I'll show you the answers in a few minutes. Mecha uh, futoteiru inu says Dan. That's a good one. I like that one. Pal Dan Palacios. Welcome to the stream. I, I'm not sure. If, I might have seen you here before. I'm not sure. But Thank you for stopping by. Shinjirare nai gurai futotte iru inu. Dan. I like it. Yeah, so this is one that actually has some variation on it. Love it. Haraheta neko. Haraheta neko. Love it. Get creative, guys. Oyoge nai shounen. The boy who can't swim. Love it. Okay, so there's actually probably a lot of possible answers for this. Good job, guys. Onaka ga suita. Iru. Nick, close. Okay, so, onaka ga suite iru. Onaka ga suite iru. Neko. You don't need the no. So you can you can directly modify nouns with verbs if they end in their short form. So, suite iru. Neko. We'll be fine. Benkyo ni narimashita, says Michael. You're very welcome. All right. Neko ga motto futotte iru. Uh, inu ga motto futotte iru. Okay, so that will mean something slightly different. So, inu ga motto futotte iru means he's more fat. As in more than he was before with that sort of inu ga motto futotte iru. So maybe he's more fat than he was before or he's more fat than something you're comparing it to. So that that's a little bit different than the English sentence here. But it's still a good sentence. It just means something slightly different. Hohoemu saru. Hohoemu saru. That sounds more like just smile monkey. So if we go with ing here, smiling monkey, what would that be? 
アンディはいつも遅れています。おい、おい。いやいや、あの、he he translated it with my name instead of with the teacher <笑>。ずっと遅い。教師。Okay。Sort of, but you want to use, try and use a verb for that, Michael. Try and use a verb. Uh, Andoi san, try to guess which sentence it is. Hm? Oh, em usaru? This one, desho? Onaka ga suiteiru neko. Perfect. Hoho en deiru monkey. Haha, <laughs> love it. Yoku okureru sensei. Ii ne. That's good. いつも遅れている先生 That's the one I was going for. That's perfect. I bring the fire. およげない男の人 Excellent, excellent. So when I show you the answers to these,、um, it doesn't mean that yours were wrong. In fact, if I didn't say that yours was wrong, it was okay. Okay? But I'm going to show you the answers in a minute. Nobody has tried this one yet. Nobody has, is yet, has yet to try the girl who goes to my school. I want someone to try that one. That's probably the hardest one on the list. Boku no gakko ni itte. Ah, close. 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 You cannot modify a noun directly with the te form because the te form. There you go. Okay. Perfect. Itte iru. Shoujo. あの僕の学校に行く少女少女,少女はいごめんね少女あの僕の学校に行く少女あの僕 probably doesn't quite work that me Is what that translates to. So, Boku no Gakko ni iku shoujo, shoujo is, would be closer. Watashi ni. Watashi ni no koko ni iku onna no hito. Watashi no koko ni iku or iteiru onna no hito is what you want there. You don't need the ni. Watashi to onaji gakko ni son, son, a zai gaku steiru. Onna no hito. Ooh, you went hard form. Good job. Excellent sentence. Watashi to onaji gakko ni ano zaigaku shite iru onna no hito. Excellent job there. That's a, that's a good, that's a hard version. All right. I'm going to show you the, sent, the,、uh, the official answers that I made up. That doesn't mean yours are wrong. These are just the quote official answers. Karen says, Onna no ko wa watashi to gakko ni ikimasu. That would also express the same idea. Absolutely. Shoujo, onna no ko. Either one would be fine.、Uh, but this is what I was going for. If I, at Den Palacios, my name is also Dan. Nice. So I went with Sugoku, futotte iru inu. There were some other good examples for that one as well. Onaka ga suite iru neko. Harahette iru neko was probably one of my favorite ones for that one. That was good. Waratte iru saru san. So you can actually. So、just saru is fine, but a lot of people will call them saru san. In fact, a lot of different animals will add san to the end, like zo san, elephant.、Um, I don't exactly know why. Probably because they're legendary, I guess. But it, it's very common.、Um, so I wanted to throw that in there. But、uh, hoho en de iru、uh, saru was also. A very valid response. Watashi no gakko ni. This is one, one way you could answer it, right? Itteiru is probably the, the most common way to say this, but I put kayotteiru onna no hito. So attending my school. Kayotteiru onna no ko. Oyoge nai otoko no ko. That one was pretty easy. I think a few people got that one. And itsumo okureru sensei. Or itsumo okureteiru sensei would also have been correct. Good job, guys. I would imagine they use san on animals because of the respect the Japanese has for nature in general. Perhaps, but they don't use it for all animals. It's not any animal, it's certain animals.、Um, like monkeys,、uh, elephants. There's only a few, actually. Hokaniwa nani ga dete kurundaro. San de oaru dobutsu. 
サンがつける動物サルさんお猿さんゾウさんあキリンさんジュラフラクダさんって何ラクダって何だっけキャモ。Maybe like animals that look somewhat majestic? Not really sure, but there's not that many. There's only a couple. クマさん。クマさんは確かにそう。ベア。いや。まさか、マモスあ、でもライオンさん。ライオンさんは言わないんだね。So, yeah, not mammals. No, I'm not really sure what the rule is, but there's, there's a few. Privileged animals, yes, exactly. Just a couple privileged animals get the sun onto their name. <laughs> that is weird. I don't, I don't know why. I've never thought about it. All right, guys, so that brings us to the end of the practice live stream.、Uh, I can hang out for a little bit longer, but before I go, please hit the thumbs up. Thumbs up, and channel if you haven't subscribed already, and make sure you hit the bell so you get notifications when these live streams. Go live.、Um, we will not be streaming again tomorrow, as I've already explained. There's way too much going on this week for it to be possible for us to do literally anything extra.、Uh, the new video will be out on Friday, and next Sunday, I should be able to do Lesson 16, and I should be able to release all the patron videos for Lesson 16. If I didn't, it would be the very first time since we started this new, since March. Since we started the new series, that I would miss or be a little late. And I don't want that to happen. But if it's possible that it would happen, this would be the week. Because, once again, sponsored video on Friday. My first ever sponsored video, which is pretty cool.、Um, and it's for, some, it's for a product that I love and use. And three patron videos and moving. Moving. Yeah, so. All right, we'll see. Anyway, thank you for that advertisement, Dan. Please check out Come to Japan channel as well. I'm still not done with the lesson, but I kind of get it. I'm happy to hear that, Radclaw. Shinka Shinai Ano Pokemon. Ah, Metanom? Metanom, Shinka Deki Nain Dake. Metanom. Yuki thinks you're talking about Metanom. Arigato gozaimasu. Was able to keep up to some extent, even if I missed the last lesson stream. I'm happy to hear that. It wasn't too bad of a lesson, I feel like. Um, I feel like I got a better explanation in the short little time we had with Teoku this time than I did the entire previous lesson. Kind of sad about that. <laughs> Hopefully, people will watch this, this as well. Gambate kudasai, says one on it. Gambarimas! Glad you could find a product you like. Well, you guys know what the product is. I've already reviewed it. I love it. And they offered to sponsor a video. So, that's pretty exciting. If you are late, you will hear about it in the Discord. I expect to. Does it begin with K and end with E? No, it does not. It does not end with what? What product do I like that it begins with K and ends with E? Kindle. Ah,、oh, no, 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 no. Oh my god, if Amazon Kindle was sponsoring me, that would, that would be ridiculous. No, 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 no. It's not that.、Um, take care, and Yuki and Andy. Pack the kettle last. Agreed. Thank you very much. Or the coffee pot in our case. Actually, the last thing I'll be, I'll be packing is this. Because we won't get internet until the 30th, and the lesson 16 live stream is, I believe, on the 29th. So I will stream one more time in this apartment, and then I will move this, this entire setup over to the new place, and lesson 17 will be in the new place. Sweet. Torokusha j a n a i h i t o ga k a n a r a z u t o r o k u o shite hoshi, says Michael. Thank you very much, Michael. Excellent sentence, by the way. Thank you. S and R, perhaps. <laughs> Kame san. Kindle. Arigato gozaimasu. We gotta get some DQ after you get settled. Yes, after we get settled, for sure. After we get settled, even if I don't stream it, we definitely. Yuki's been dying to play some, and you gotta come hang out with our, new, with our,、uh, with our little guys. So, kyo mo arigato gozaimasu. Ko chira koso arigato gozaimasu, Michael. t s u k a r e sama deshita. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Good luck with the move. Is it to a bigger place? Yes, I actually used to live there. Uh, before I left Japan for the first time three or four years ago, I actually lived in this house for a year and a half. And then when I left, I let my friend move back in. So then when I came back, I took this apartment, which she was living in before she moved into that house. So I lived in this apartment, then I moved to that house, then I left Japan, and at the time I left Japan, she was living in this apartment. So she moved into the house. Now I came back to Japan, I went back in this apartment, and now I'm moving back into the house. 
Unfortunately, she's not coming back to this apartment. She got an apartment somewhere else. So it's kind of funny. We've just been trading places. <laughs> Chibiando. No, you haven't. Nobody has. Definitely got to do that. You need to have a house party virtually. We are definitely going to have like a, a Christmas thing or something. Hopefully. Uh, so maybe we could do a virtual house party. Uh, I'll probably do a house tour video. Uh, maybe not on this channel. I'm, oh, yeah, yeah, exactly. Well, maybe not in Japanese. I'm, I'm probably going to make a separate channel for it. So I'm probably going to do... This is a secret. But you guys will be the first to know. I'm making a separate channel where I'm going to... First, I'm going to open it with a house, uh, an apartment tour of this place. And then I'm taking a Genki 1 lesson daily. Is it too much? Probably too much. It probably won't stick. You certainly won't be able to learn all the vocabulary in that much time. Uh... You can try, but I give it at least a week per lesson because you got to remember at the back of the book, there's also a bunch of reading sections and there's tons of listening material, textbook practice. Are you doing all the practice in a day? Because that's a massive amount. So anyway, uh, I'm going to be doing an apartment tour. Then I'm going to be introducing, I'm going to be doing the house tour and then I'm going to be doing a bunch of stuff around the house on that channel. So it's going to be something sort of separate from this. That's probably once a week. And it'll probably be once a week house tours and stuff around the house and stuff like that. So it's going to be a totally different, uh, a totally different aim. And I'll probably do house tours of other people's places as well. So it should be fun. It is, yes, Ikenya this. I'm renting a cabin with some close buddies for a week. It's going to be our private Christmas celebration. That's awesome. Have fun. Enjoy. It sounds great. All right, guys. Well, thank you for hanging. You have time for that? You seem so busy already. Well, no, I don't have time for that. <laughs> I don't, but I really want to do it. And I really, really like making uh, videos. I, I've been starting to really enjoy it. Like the Patreon videos are very repetitive, so they get a little bit, um, they get a little bit old making them. Um, I, but I think they're useful and I want to keep making them. But like the other videos I've been making recently that are a little bit more freeform, I've been really enjoying them. So I want I want an excuse to make some other stuff as well. So that channel will probably not be weekly. It'll probably be bi-weekly-ish. And it's just going to be easy stuff. Like, it's not going to be heavily edited or anything. But it should be fun. Andora-san cooking channel. <laughs> that could be fun. Maybe Yuki could make something like that. We'll see. How big is your new house for a house tour once a week? It's not going to be a house tour once a week of that house. It'll probably be... I've got a lot of friends. I've got friends who have apartments and stuff and houses in Japan. So I'll probably give tours of those places if, if the channel goes okay. <laughs> but I'll be doing stuff around the house that's related to, like... I don't know. You'll see. Should be fun. Get Yuki to do studio vlogs in her business. Yes, we'll probably be doing something like that. I'm going to be setting up a studio, like a full studio with a camera that uh, shoots down at a table so that we can do stuff. We're going to be, she's going to be doing like lessons and stuff for her Mizuhiki because um, she's quitting her job in three days. So going full time for Togini Andy and for her own business. So she will be able to make a lot more stuff as well. Should be good. I'm going to be teaching her how to edit videos as well. She's pretty excited about that. She wants to, uh, she wants to edit stuff. So yeah. Should be fun. But, yeah. And I think I'm going to be going full-time in March. But that's a secret. That's a big secret. Hopefully my boss isn't watching. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, have a great, great night. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for your support. And uh, Satori Reader's Heaven says Emmanuel Heard. That's great. I'm happy to hear that. I'm so happy you're enjoying it. I hope if then you will probably enjoy the video uh, on Friday. All right, guys, you are not great at keeping secrets, it seems. Well, no, no, no. See, it's a secret to the whole world, but you guys are in the little circle, the 17 of you who are here right now, that it won't get out from. I know, I know you'll keep it a secret, right? So it's our secret. Our secret. But it's a secret from other people, you know, that aren't as cool as you guys. But anyway, <laughs> have a great night, guys. Thank you for uh, hanging out, and I hope to see you at the next one. Good night. Arigato gozaimasu. Otsukare sama deshita. Mata tsugi no video de aimashou ne. Then we're here to help. And the Tokini Andy Patreon, we have listening and shadowing practice, Genki vocabulary practice, Genki textbook practice where Yuki, Ando, and I are your partners. 
Eventually, even work by practice. Eh, so na no? Kyurio deru? Tashikai. Uh, yeah, sure. Kyurio deru. After Genki 1, we'll be covering Genki 2, and eventually even intermediate textbooks. Detailed grammar lessons and Japanese Q&As will, as always, be on the YouTube for free. Tokini Andy Patreon, live right now. Yoroshiku ne. Yoroshiku onegaishimasu.